we're going to keep the show moving right along with a very funny gentleman. Uh, I've known this gentleman for six weeks, uh, pretty much the same as I've known anyone here for. And they're all very nice people, I want to tell you that. Anyway, a good friend of mine, Mr. Mike Oscar. As he said, my name is Mike Oscar. You're probably wondering what this is, right? I'll tell you about it. Yeah. You can call me Mike. My last name is Norwegian. <laughs> yeah, my, my ancestors were so smart. They came here from from Norway, they took their long little you know, Viking boats, they went all the way to northern Minnesota just to get out of the cold weather. <laughs> I, have, uh, I have five boys, five sons, and uh, they all think they're Vikings. They got the tattoos, you know, the beards, they got the, you know, all the, the outfits and the hats even, you know, and wait till I tell them that my ancestors really were farm slaves. <laughs> so, I, I decided to dress up today, and uh, you don't see, comedians usually don't get dressed up in a suit. It's not every day, right? Well, it's not every day a guy gets a vasectomy either. <laughs> so on the way here, I had to get a vasectomy, and you know, if I figured, I figured, <laughs> if, if I gotta be impotent, I wanna look impotent. <laughs> My mom, I wasn't going to use any bad language. And <laughs> so I, I, I promised I wouldn't use any real bad language. So. so Mary's here tonight. Mary and I have been together a while. Actually, Mary and I have been married for 25 years. Yeah. No, no, not to each other. <laughs> No, no, no. It works better for us that way. Yeah. Um, you know, I like these networking meetings. Anybody go to, like, meetups? Anybody? Yeah. Shit, I'm the only one. No wonder nobody shows up here. Well, anyway, I, you know, I've been going to these net networking meetings, and everybody I meet at these, at these meetings is a life coach. I get, okay, you guys are all life coaches, right? Wait till I tell them about the life coach. I didn't know what that was at first, and then I realized that when I was in my 20s, we had life coaches, yeah. But we didn't call them life coaches, we, we called them Amway distributors. I can, tell, I can tell by the way you're laughing, you probably have, still have soap in your closet, right? No, it wasn't your dad's, it was yours. Maybe you weren't old enough. Yeah, I believe everybody should have a alternate stream of income. You know, I believe in multiple streams of income. Because your job, it might fail, you know? It, I mean, we can't all just sell weed like we did in high school. <laughs> Come on, you guys. A real job, right? So, last year I needed to raise money over and above my, in my, you know, my bills. And so, I became an Uber driver. I got a nice little car, and I know how to drive, and I, my license is still valid. So I started driving for Uber, and it uh, seemed like a good idea. I was in Newport Beach to pick up somebody. It was my first week. And I, I pull up to this nice house, and this guy comes walking out like this. He's got, he's got these two really hot babes, one on each arm, and these, these girls were really hot when they were like 20 when Bill Clinton was the president. <laughs> and so they, you know, they've been around a while, so he brings them out, come on, he's gotta help them, because they can't walk. He puts one in the front seat, one in the back seat. That's, that's so far so good. They are passed out, drunk, unconscious. Oh my gosh. He yells out, he goes, okay, take them home. I thought, okay, what's your address? He goes, how the hell should I know? <laughs> so, so I thought, oh. I mean, they didn't tell me about this when I signed up. So what do you do? Well, I could tell that the girl in the front seat, in the passenger side, by the short skirt she was wearing, she did not have a wallet in her pocket. <laughs> in fact, I'm pretty sure she didn't have a pocket in that skirt. Well, 
So where do you keep your ID? Where do you keep your ID when you're traveling light? In the lockers? No, say it right, right here, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't get the lines. Okay. All right. Well, here, you can have so, so I thought, okay, okay, this presents a problem that I wasn't expecting. Now, I, I thought of two problems, in fact. I thought, okay, if I go over there and I try to find her ID, two things could happen, right? One, she could wake up and like it. <laughs> and then I end up with a girlfriend I did not want and cannot explain to Mary. Or she could wake up and be mad and slap the shit out of me. Neither one of those was acceptable. So I did what any Norwegian would do. Did you know that Norwegians invented ice? True story. I still got the secret recipe at home. I, I decided I would turn my air conditioner all the way up. So I did. And so I turned my air conditioner all the way up and then uh, started out of the neighborhood. And I knew it because as soon as the drool on her cheek started to ice up and her head like she, would, she woke up screaming. She said, oh my God, it's freezing cold in here. I said, yeah, well, if you give me your address, I'll turn the heater on and I'll take you home. <laughs> Problem solved. The next night, the next, the next night I'm driving, like this nice young couple, innocent looking, and they, like, they said, do you ever have anything weird happen when you're driving? <laughs> I'm like, well, actually last night I had something weird happen. And I told her the story really quick, and she goes, that guy was a total fucktard. I didn't know either, but I never heard that word before. I, I think it's going to be a new word of the day at Toastmasters. Um, I did not have to look it up, however. I knew exactly what she meant. New word. So that next night I drove, and I pulled up to this gay bar in Long Beach, Belmont Shores. I this is going to be great. These two girls walk out, and they get in the car, and they're kind of pissed off. So I said, what's wrong? She goes, well, we were in this bar, and these boys wouldn't dance with us. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> so I looked up at this big neon sign that says, gay bar. And I look at the girls, and I go, go figure, <laughs> gay bar. And she goes, well, we're gay. I said, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, we're lesbians. I raised five boys. I have no idea what she's talking about. So, she, I said, I wouldn't have known. She goes, well, you know, there are four different types of lesbians. I thought, I'm about to learn something. She spent like the next ten minutes explaining all the different types of lesbians. And I thought, oh my God, I started feeling very insecure. I go, I might be lying. <laughs> So, uh, what is this LGBT thing? Uh, anybody understand that? Is it like Common Core English? Um, I know they're teaching stuff at the schools these days that I would probably never ever pass a test I'm trying to take it. I have five boys and I, I homeschooled all of them. They don't know any of this shit either. Okay, so, LGB, no, 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 it's LGBTQ now, right? And I know what Q stands for. We were not allowed to use that word when I was a kid. I, I really hate that. I mean, I, you know, I have nothing wrong. People want to be gay, that's fine. It's, it's a free country still. One more election away from it. Right? But, but I just, I really hate acronyms. I get the letters mixed up, and then I end up saying something I didn't really mean to say. You type it out, and they're like, what are you, yelling at me? No, WTF, man. Welcome to Facebook. But I, I, I do love coffee. Anybody else here love coffee? I can't see. Oh, I, 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 I long in Seattle. I love coffee, and I go to Starbucks like every day. I don't know why. I get kicked out of the house, I have to go to Starbucks. <laughs> so I was at Starbucks one morning really early, and it was like gray, overcast, foggy, like every day in San Clemente. It's like six in the morning. I went in, I got my coffee today. <laughs> That's weird. 
And I, I, it sounds like that in Starbucks when they're grinding coffee. So I, I got my coffee, went and sat in my car, put it in the holder so it wouldn't spill, and I started back up, and I felt like I was pushing something. So I stopped. Rolled my window down, washed off the foggy stuff, and I looked back, and there's a car right behind me, like I couldn't go. So I got out of my car and ran around, and I can't, I, I, no kidding here. There's this guy standing behind my car and he's going like this. Hey, stop, stop, you're running into my car. You're pushing my car. Stop. It's a midget. It's a little guy. You can't make this shit up, okay? He was standing there, and he was yelling. I thought, my God, where am I? He goes, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I go, okay, I'm not Snow White. Which one are you? <laughs> so I, I said, okay, Grumpy. <laughs> I, I'm really sorry that I pushed your car. I didn't hurt it, though. Our bumper's like matched really good, I guess. I said, how about I bring you in and buy you a cup of coffee? He looks at me with this funny little scrunched up face, and he goes, I can't drink coffee. Coffee stunts your growth. <laughs> I love you. Thanks a lot. I'm right across the We want to call for my last drive in this pile of shit we've got now. We want to call for the best, best comic we're going to see here tonight.